The college currently has 29 trainer aircraft, most of which were acquired 15 years ago and are quite expensive to fuel and maintain. Minister of State for Aviation, Hadis Rika says, age aside, proper maintenance of the aircraft as planned and availability of spare parts were given utmost consideration and value for money. The new trainer aircraft is expected to improve students' flight training experience. It's a composite aircraft, flexible in training, and of course, as you have heard, it uses Jet A1, which is more readily available in our country. And then, of course, this airplane is approved for up initial training of private pilot license through commercial to instrument and to multi-engine. INCAT is acquiring a total of 20 of these diamond aircraft, comprising of five DA-42 multi-engined and 15 DA-40 single-engine trainers. Today, we are taking delivery on the first DA-42 multi-engine aircraft. Representatives of diamond aircraft manufacturer from Austria have details of the package. The planes, we offer the training for the engineers, we offer the training for the pilots, and we do offer spare parts as well. So we have an arrangement already with ANCAT. So a couple of weeks ago, one engineer from ANCAT was already sent to Austria for a three-week training. We are not just delivering things. We want to be a partner, a long-term partner. Interjet, in partnership with Diamond Aircraft, is working towards building a state-of-the-art maintenance facility in Abuja to service Nigeria and other Western countries. Students of the college will go extra mile in acquiring more knowledge so as to go with the trend of changes in the industry. Emmanuel Ayemiro, NTA News.